Yeah, he collaborated a lot. I'm not sure if, but, you know, they're all friends of his. I don't know if he played with them all, but probably over the years, because, you know, he's, he's been doing it for so long. Uh, yeah, probably once, one point or another, he's played with all the people that are going to be on the stage. Also, Wolfin is the only famous kind of one. Yeah. Well, the only one I've ever heard of. I mean, did you hear of Treater Wright? They were in the 80s. Oh. They were, they were, they they're fairly successful, not, not as popular in Europe as Morphe. Yeah. Never heard much Morphe either. No, really. So, what, what have you been doing? I saw the Mervins last night. Oh, right, was it good? Yeah. Cool band. Yeah. A lot of structure in there. A lot of energy. Yeah. They had a mosh pit there, which really? seemed quite violent. Sportsmen were crap though. Yeah, Cosmic yeah. Psychos. Oh. Uh, Middle-aged rockers. Yeah, I remember them from way back. I didn't know they were still together. Never heard of them. They're well. Australian, aren't they? Yep. Both uh, bands. I thought this was going to get cancelled for sure. It was pouring earlier. Ladies and gentlemen, no, that doesn't mean you. <laughs> Some people out over across the street. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, treat her right.
Bring up a couple of special friends right now. Oh, it's you guys? Unbelievable. It's Joe and Dickie from the Boston. Thank you. 
Hello. Tree to Right used to be one of my favorite bands, and I spent a lot of time going to see them, and uh, they spent a lot of time trying to keep me off this stage. And uh, this is a real honor for me. Thank you so much. It's Joe as well. Joe used to roadie for Tree to Right years ago. He used to introduce and treat her right top. And on our very first album, Billy Conway played drums on a song called A Little Bit Ugly that we did. This is a, this is a classic song. It's almost sacrilegious that I'm singing it. And uh, hey, can I tell a quick story? All right, this is a really funny story. It was years ago, and I'll make it quick. Years ago, not really years ago, it was a few years ago, and uh, the Safe and Sound album was coming out, and a lot of great Boston bands were on that album. So I was at the Boston Music Awards to talk about that album, but I was also up for Best Vocalist, which on my scorecard and every scorecard in the room, I had myself at last. Peter Wolf was on it, and, and Mark was on it. And I didn't think I was gonna win. I, I was positive I wasn't gonna win, so I wasn't prepared to win. And I won. And uh, I was excited, it was really, really good, and, I, and it was a nice feeling. And Mark, was on stage and I was about to go out and talk about the Safe and Sound thing and he had just won an award himself and I didn't know what it was and as he came by me I go, Mark, what did you just win? And he said, I just won a best ska punk band. <laughs> I swear, and then he gave that, that kind of laugh, snare kind of look at me and then he gave me a hug and he said, congratulations. And I, uh, hey, let's do it. That's a true story, I swear. <laughs> Man with the gun. 
Thanks for being here, and uh, we're going to move things along with a little rain delay. One of the things that Mark used to always do is always give uh, his friends CDs and insist that they listen to them, and books and stuff, and say, you got to check this out, man. This is the coolest. And one of his favorite CDs to give away was this uh, an album called Ethiopian Groove, Golden Sounds of the 70s. And uh, we worked up... A, a few numbers from the Ethiopian uh, groove of golden 70s. And uh, it's kind of, for me, uh, it's kind of Mark's last gift, last good idea that he, uh, that he gave to me. He gave me a lot of good ideas over the years. And uh, so we're going to play uh, an extremely condensed version of Ethiopian groove golden hits of the 70s for you now. <laughs> Thank you. 
You all remember this from the 70s, right? I saw all of you in a discotheque in Addis Ababa. You took your clothes off. It was hot. We all drank some crazy fermented drink. And then the band came in and they were playing this.
right. The Ethiopian Sweet. Played for you today by the Eater Orchestra. With our special guests. Jane, John, Vicente, Jerry, Charlie, Tom, Colin, Rick. My name is Russ. And thanks, Mark. We're putting it on our next record for you. Thanks a lot. Okay, the night. Let's have the night squad up. Next song uh, it's going to be on the next Morphine record. It's called The Night. And uh, here it goes.
Thanks a lot. We're getting out of here. No, some of us, some of us will stay. Thanks very much. Beautiful song. I think it's leading off the Morphin album, going to the next Morphin album. Uh, for Mark Sandman, Ken Reeves. Thank you, Deb Pine. I'm just going to talk during the rain, and then it'll stop as soon as I finish. <laughs> you know, uh, we all truly miss Mark.
Mark Sanna, but we want him to live on in music in Cambridge and your contributions today are funding a music education fund fund to keep music in Cambridge for the kids. So I will just say that the members of the city council extend their condolences to Mark's family and friend and he, he, he inspired us greatly and he'll live on through all who knew him and his music and through the re recipients of the Mark Salmon Music Education Fund in the Cambridge Public Schools, which today's benefit will benefit. Long live Mark Salmon, and may you all... <laughs> Don't let a little rain slow you down. We're gonna have a magnificent time anyway. Thank you. Joseph saying, come on, everybody, go home, go home. Well, it's great, everybody's here. I'm honored to be here, thank you.
You look like rain. 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 back a little more music uh, once we retrieve everyone who knows their parts. Get them up here. prepared to sing again because we need you again. <laughs> These vocal parts are very, very, very big shoes to fill, so we think that it's appropriate for you all to sing this song all the way through, okay? Okay, we'll do the warm-up song first. Warm me up a little. You know how to go. Uh, okay. You know what song this is, right? Are you ready? Okay. Smell that summer beach and the things frying and the pepper and the salt and the seagulls and the French fries with pepper.
On six, six, six to six. I was little, I didn't know shit. And on seven, seven, seventy-seven. Eleven years later, still don't know any better. By eight, eight, eighty-eight. It's way too late for me to change. And by nine, nine. 99. I hope I'm sitting on the back porch drinking red wine saying, oh, French fries with pepper, oh, French fries with pepper.
66, I was there. I didn't know shit. And on that seven, seven, seven. Eleven didn't know better on eight, eight, nine, eight. <laughs> Way too late for me to change it on nine. I was little, I didn't know shit And on seven, seven, seven to seven Eleven years later, still don't know any better About eight, eight, eighty-eight It's way too late for me to change it by nine I didn't know shit. On seven, seven, seven hundred and seventy-seven. Eleven years later, I still didn't know shit. On eight, eight, eighty-eight. It's way too late 
for me to know shit. I'm nine, nine, 99. I hope I'm sitting on the back porch and drinking red wine, singing oh. No fighting, no fighting. All hell's angels, please. Okay, we have way too much music, but we're gonna try to squeeze as much of it as we can into a space of less than we should have. So we're gonna have, uh, Mr. Airplane Man is gonna do a song for you. John Overstreet and Throttle's gonna do a song. Is everybody backstage listening? Mark's nephews are going to do a couple of songs, Su superhero hijinks, and then we're going to mass the stage again and do a few more songs, and you know, uh, until, until they throw us out, until they pull the plug. Where's Mr. Airplane Man? You ready to come up?
Hey, how's it going? You ready, Phil? Yeah, um, I just wanted to say a couple words. Um, I was on tour with these guys when, when they were in Italy. And, um, you know, when I came back, uh, Deb Klein met us at the airport. And, you know, it was really tearful. And she said, I'm really sorry you had to, to go through that. And my words to her was, you know, in, Complete, completely contrary to that, I'm really grateful I got to be over there and be on tour with you guys and, and got to see all those shows that I got to see. It, it, it was a real honor and a real education. And um, the song we're about to do is called Thursday. It's a real rocker. I love it. It's always been one of my favorites. And uh, it's ha it happens to be the last song I'm working ever played as a band together. And I'm, I'm honored that, that, that I get to play it up here with Dana. Thank you. 
And uh, so let's do it, man. Interpretation of the rock standard Thursday. Turn to page 36 of your real books, you'll find out there. Thanks, John.
Ooh. Hey. Ooh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I guess I can't hear you. Okay. We're going to have uh, the... Um, Kind of the world premiere. They just changed their name. This is the world premiere of Luke's Superhero Hijinks. <laughs> Featuring a couple of Mark's nephews, in fact, his only nephews, Alex and Gabe Holmes.
Superhero, super hijinks, su hijinks, super, superhero 42. Superhero 42, sorry, my, my mistake. The future. Jimmy Ryan and the gang. And uh, I'm reminded here to remind you that tomorrow night, meaning Monday night, the B-Side, the B-Side Lounge, probably better known to most of you as the Windsor Tap from its previous days as a sort of a shady, like $1.38 Budweiser kind of place. But it's called the B-Side Lounge. It's over on Hampshire Street, Hampshire and Windsor. Tomorrow night, there's gonna be a benefit night for the Mark Sandman Music Education Fund. And uh, the owners of the B-Side are graciously donating, I believe, all the proceeds from the bar uh, for, uh, for the Music Education Fund. And uh, brother, is Brother Cleve spinning? I think Brother Cleve is going to be spinning CDs or maybe even vinyl records for you. So the B-Side Lounge tomorrow night. Raise, help raise some more money for the Music Education Fund. And, and I guess I'll take this moment to remind you that that's what we're here for today, among other things. Besides remembering Mark today, we'd like to um, build future memories of Mark by building that Music Education Fund. So before you leave, if you can try to stop by, I guess there's tables at the end, or in the, are they in the Middle East? In the Middle East and uh, pay just a little bit of something, you know, drop a you know, $100 bill or, you know, maybe your, your Fidelity portfolio or, you know, your mortgage, you know, whatever. Put it in the little, in the little jar there so that the Mark Sandman Music Education Fund can grow and, and um, someday we'll all figure out what, what, what the money is gonna be used for, but we know it's music education. In here in Cambridge. Okay. We got some luminaries up here. On the funny little, oh, it's not a guitar, the mandolin. Jimmy Ryan. Hello, music. Hello, music. At the bass, Brian Dunton. At the drums, Larry Dirsch. 
the acoustic guitar and vocals, Katie Curtis. Yeah, Katie's gonna sing the song Mark wrote. You know, Mark was a hillbilly at heart, really. You know, he had his blues side, his cool hipster side, but he was really a hillbilly. And here's the song he made up called Have Patience.
check one two. Hey everybody. I just wanted to say that uh, we're the Right Corvair Trio and the only person that you could really say was the uh, unofficial fourth member of Ray Corvair was Mark Sandman. And uh, no, no one liked to say it more than he did. <laughs> we, uh, we couldn't keep him away, He'd turn up every couple of weeks the last year or so playing organ with us. And it was, um, you know, it was a really big pleasure and thrill. And uh, I don't know, we're gonna, I'm gonna stop talking because there's not much time left and I want everybody to get to play, but uh, we're gonna do one of their songs. It's a song called The Other Side and it's, uh, it's a real honor to be here. church house late last night yeah I walked by the church house but I didn't go inside cause I I once slept with the preacher's wife she handed me a ticket to the other side I'm crossing over now To the other side To the other side
Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Mark. Hi everybody, I'm Chris. I'm gonna sing a song that I wrote for Mark. Uh, it's called Gone Again, Gone. And Dana and Billy have been generous enough to support me on this, so I hope you enjoy it. There it is. Must have gone 5,555 miles Just to gauge the corner of your mouth when you smile Now we sit here by the fire Wondering out loud Could the force that we created shatter Helpless on the shoreline Did the mud between our toes Really dry up all that quickly Could the lava of our love Freeze up in the warm summer dawn And it did not work out for me just like I planned, so I'm gone. No, it did not work out for us just like we planned. Gone again, gone. Gone again, gone. You a gifted man, stayed 16 all his days. A dry and dark romantic who vanished in the haze. And he stood all tall and saintly with his Perry Mason poems and his customized spirit, chuckling, sly and quiet, mumbling. And we all leaned in to listen to the ruminations that he got up from the party and left us all alone without his song. And it did not work out for us just like we planned, so I'm gone. And it did not work out for us just like we planned. Gone again, gone. Gone again, gone. with a weakness 
For lurking late at night, he found an evil congregation Squinting in the moonlight, and all those pickle-hearted sinners Had lined up for the winnings, and the devil dangled every evil deed he ever tempted And a train made of promises came rumbling to the station Conductors full of solid gold whistled for the sinners to get on And it did not work out for us just like we planned, so I'm gone. No, it did not work out for us just like we planned, gone again, gone. Gone again, gone. say nobody's too young to learn a Sandman song. <laughs> Actually, I've never said that before in my life. Hey, I always say you're never too young to le learn a Mark Sandman song. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> so we've gotten this fine crowd out of an old age home. Through miraculous medical intervention, they've been reduced to the biological age of 6 through 13 years old. And their leader is Dinty Child. Yeah, well, thank you. It's like the Pied Piper up here. Hey, Sebastian still around? Yeah, come on. Got a bass? Mr. Sebastian Steinberg of Soul Coughing has agreed to accompany us. We, uh, we're here to sort of show you the face of the Mark Sandman Music Education Fund. It's, it's still kind of embryonic what's going to happen, but personally, I hope that we can get a lot of these uh, great musicians that have been here today to meet a lot more of these kids in the schools and that kind of thing. There's also been some talk about using Mark's studio to uh, let some of the kids experiment with some things, which I think Mark would uh, like a lot. So when Billy found out that we did this next song in the school band, he, uh, he asked that we, we come do it. Sebastian, can we see your ID? <laughs> You're over age. And we, we want to uh, promote like real all ages shows, I think. Uh, <laughs> A lot of drummers, that fits. Okay, Mr. Conway, it's probably your, uh, your call. <laughs> Oh, 
around the world. Everywhere I go, no one understands me. No one knows what I'm trying to say. Now all around the world, everywhere I go, people scratch their heads. They go, what's he trying to say? Okie doke. Well, we're really, unfortunately, running out of time. I think we have time for another song, or maybe two.
I wish we could play another 10 because believe me, we, Mark wrote a lot of really good songs and we worked up a lot of them yesterday and, but we can't. Start the encores. <laughs> I think we started the encores before the concert. So we're now gonna have Willie Alexander come up to the stage. Willie we'll Loco. We need Mike Rivard, we need Jay Hill. I got the 
Finishes off. Thanks a lot for coming out, for staying. This is going to be the first of an annual event, so we'll see you here next year, or maybe we'll see you in a bigger venue like uh, Mass Ave. Maybe a place with a roof.
Just like rehearsal, was screwing us up then and screwing us up now. Second verse. Bring it all together. Hold it all. Thanks, thanks everybody for coming out and making it the first of a annual event. And uh, just make it all, all worth it. Thank you very much. We couldn't have done it without all of you. Thank you. At your service.